Here we go, guys. Do not underestimate Brad Riddell. 33 fights, 30 wins. He got the call a couple of days ago. He's based in Thailand now, formerly out of New Zealand. He, this, is, this man knocked out Aaron Goodson on a brute force show probably 18 months ago, Johnny. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome JWP John Wayne Park! Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the main event of the evening power play. Once again, let's welcome from the blue corner, all the way from New Zealand, Brad Riddell. He is taking on one of Australia's favorite fighting out of the red corner, John Wayne Park. Uh, this is the main event of the oh, evening. Run, yep, let's not forget, gentlemen. Can I please have fighters to share in uh, five by three minute rounds? Fighter with referee Ignatius Bigley to lose and everything okay, guys, to gain. I spoke to you about the rules in the change room. If nobody knew who Brad Riddell so was, they certainly time. do now. That's guys now on good luck. Well, and if he had Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Riddell taking on John him, Wayne so. Parr. But he looks like a guy that looks like he's ready to fight John Wayne Parr. Let me tell you, looking at his body, his physique, his legs, he looks like a thoroughbred of that weight class, you know? Gee, he's yeah. got these legs remind me of your stand. They, that's why I'm bringing them up, fellas. I'm <laughs> looking at him and I'm saying I like his legs. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Joe Hopkins out the back and, and Brad was uh, scheduled to fight in Macau next week, but that fight got pulled. So when he got the phone call, it was, yep. Yeah. Book, and that's book me a seat on the next round one. one. So for the viewers at home, we all know John Wayne Parr in the black trunks, Brad Riddell. Do not underestimate this boy from New Zealand now, based out of Thailand. So five by three minute rounds, full tie rules, all the good stuff. And a big thanks to Easy Contractors, building and maintenance company, getting behind this one, main event sponsor of Powerplay 22. Joe Nader, once again, the Melbourne Pavilion, full to, full to the brim and another quality card. So let's not forget Brad Riddell came over from New Zealand, took on Aaron Goodson. We didn't know a lot about him and he, he schooled Aaron Goodson with his hand and knocked him out. So we took him out. A switch up left. Yeah, he looks like he rocked Wayne. He is rocked. John Wayne Parr yeah. has been rocked by Brad Riddell in his first round. With that switch up left roundhouse kick followed up by left hook. Adrian Ormod and a crew dip over in the corner of John Wayne Parr. Straight right hand to the body from Wayne, but... You know, you, you guys mentioned, I didn't see the fight with uh, Aaron and, and, Rid um, and um, Riddell, but you say to me he schooled Aaron Goodson when we came to the boxing, and, and um, are we saying that he's got great hands, this kid? Mate, he's, he's just strong, he has, he's fast, he has some good hands. But we've already seen his switch up left kick as well as already worried John Wayne Park. Well, one of Wayne's strengths has been his for a long, long time his boxing skills. Let's not forget he did have a, a successful uh, boxing career as well. Oh! He's put another short left hook flush on the chin of Wayne. He's rocking oh! again here in the first. John's trying to trade with him. Yeah, trying to fight back now, but. Nice oh, elbow! Good elbow! This is where Riddell's oh, got to be Lord. careful because he's hurt Wayne. Oh, they're going toe to toe, fellas! Yeah, oh, look at Wayne absolutely trying to unload, but he's been hurt. Oh, I'll tell you what, Brad Riddell, I think, is a little bit wobbled as well. They're both wobbled. Peter Lewis over there almost, we can stick some headphones on him, he's commentating as well. <laughs> I tell you what, this is an unexpected first round. No one expected to see Brad Riddell uh, wobble John Wayne Park as he has. 
but credit to John Wayne Parker. This is why he's a 10 time world champion. I tell you. He's composed and he's got it back again. And yeah. his defense after getting wobbled was come back and trade with him. You know, yeah. that was amazing. Yeah, he absolutely let go a flurry of punches. And Brad Riddell just looking super composed here in center ring, though. But twice, John Wayne Parr has been caught with a left from Brad Riddell. He has, and he's got almost like a crease on his face. You see a little bit of blood on the lip there, I'm not sure. But, geez, he'd want to plant that right hand as hard as he could against his chin. Or his cheek to defend against that. Round that one. From Brad Great round. He got tagged, fellas. He got tagged. He looked uncomfortable. But it's amazing to see him come back and rally. With Riddell. I tell you what, an absolutely also amazing first round. Easy contract as you're getting your money's worth for this main event. And as we said, mate, full credit to Joe Nader. He literally searched the world and came up with Brad Riddell, a New Zealand based fighter. Went and based himself in China, now in Thailand. And I tell you what, what a first round we've had. Well, absolutely uh, a huge upset here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, just that first round has left most people in this audience holding their breath right now. But I tell you what, he's only had the 33 fights, but he's, he's had 30 wins in those 30, 33 fights. A big slapping round kick from Wayne Parr to open up the second round. Tempted catch and sweep. Uh, Brad manages to stay on his feet. Sticks That's the jab into Wayne Park. Yeah, the trademark switch up left of John Wayne Park. See what the, the guard of Brad Riddell is super tight as well. And it needs to be. Oh, nice uppercut from uh, the gunslinger. Peter Hatton helping out in the corner with Richie Hardcore and Joe Hopkins. Talking to Joe Hopkins at the back and he said uh, Brad's last six fights he's won by KO overseas. So he's really racking up some big solid wins. But there's one thing though, John Wayne Parr's not going to drop his right hand again and get caught with that left hook again from Brad Riddell. Well, that's the worst thing he can do, but uh, gee, I'm impressed with the, the Kiwi. He's, um, he's not wasting any shots whatsoever. Yeah, he's picking shots. He's not, you know, you're right, John, he's not wasting any shots. He's picking his shots. Look, we know Wayne Parr's an experienced campaigner, but we could be looking at something, something of the future here. I mean, you know, it kind of reminds me of me fighting Alexio and, you know, the prince versus the king here right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, very much so, Stan. Uh, Riddell is not daunted by the man that he's facing he's here not. in centering. Absolutely not. And he's got a plan. He's staying on the plan. Despite the fact the early success in the first round, he's got a game plan. And I like, I like that. Just a couple of knees thrown by each fighter in that clinch. Not a lot of mustard behind them. See what the, the powerhouse of Eden Function Centre here in Flemington, Victoria is absolutely full to the brim and we're seeing it. Well, there was a stunned silence there in that first round. Now a little bit more vocal from the crowd. Yeah, mate. As I said, a lot of people just, they wouldn't have known anything about Brad Riddell and everyone was coming along to see John Wayne Parr and Brad Riddell uh, silence the, uh, the crowd here in that first One round. One minute into that first round, the crowd knew that this kid's bringing something here. Yeah, crossing elbow there from uh, Wayne Parr, taken on the gloves by Brad Riddell. Of course, big shout out too to Angie Parr up there in Queensland. And of course, yeah. getting behind the Australian Muay Thai Awards coming up in De Round December. Two, two down, three to go. Right this has been a sensational main side event side so far, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Wayne Parr seems to have recovered from that uh, first round. Uh, I won't call it a knockdown, but really uh, a couple of big shots from Riddell. But this kid might be saying it's my time tonight.
and that's what we're going to witness right now in the next three rounds. Experience is definitely on his side, but we've got a guy here that knows he is in a position to take the crown from the king. Here we go, round three, proudly brought to you by Easy Contractors. So you're watching the main event of Pell Play, number 22, the gunslinger John Wayne Parr in the black trunks. Nice Brad left Riddell there. in the red and silver. Nice left from John Wayne Parr. Okay, these guys are going to pick up the pace here, you guys. You have to say, you agree with me. Mate, I think already you can, you can see the tempo has changed. You can lifted. see the tempo has changed. Oh, there's that left hand once again from Riddell. And again, guys, we've got a, a big shout out to Joe Nader and uh, the team at Powerplay Promotions. As he said on Facebook, he could have let this fight go. He could have just said, oh, we'll just, you know, cancel the car. But too much time and money have been invested. And he's got a lot of respect for John Wayne Parr. And he knew what he'd been putting himself through with all the training. So he, he did what any great promoter would do. And he found a, a quality opponent to replace Cosmo Alexander. Yeah. A little bit of a slip there from Wayne. Good defensive work from Brad Riddell. Yeah, and that slapping rib kick there from John Wayne Parr. It's his trademark to switch up left kick. Judges for this one, Shane Byrne, Bryce Burt Whistle and Mark Cook. Brad Riddell hasn't changed the expression throughout the whole fight. He's just looking super composed. Once again, we see Wayne put together those five or six punch combinations that he is renowned for. Almost looked like a bit of a head clash there as they were coming in for the grapple. Nice front kick from Wayne. Put some boxing skills to use once again. It's give and take you know, at the moment. Both guys working, a good pace, both guys exchanging, but no one really taking an advantage of anything or to, clearly to say that he's winning the round. That's pretty, pretty even. Both guys exchanging. Probably Wayne Parr, just the busier of the two by putting together his combos. Nice catch and sweep. Manages to uh, take Brad Riddell to the canvas. Yeah, it's interesting, this one's under full tie rules. We haven't seen a lot of grappling. We saw Wayne Parr in the first round come back with some elbows, but we haven't seen a lot since from either boy. And see if he can start rattling Four, Brad Riddell. That's what we're going to see if Riddell can rally with him, Burgess. See. Two punch kick combination from Wayne. Yeah. This is the round that we're going to find out what Riddell's about, fellas. This round. So we're at round number four, the penultimate round. Once There's again. The, and I tell, you, tell you what, both boys know what's on the line here. Flurries of punches again from Wayne. Punch kick combo. Another punch kick combo. Whereas look at Riddell. Single kick, single punch. John Wayne Parr really stepping it up now in this fourth round. The championship round, Sam, as they call it. Yep. Oh, good jabs from uh, Wayne to set up the right hand. Peter Hatton just calling out for Brad Riddell to come forward. Nice straight right hand there by John Wayne. Nice combinations again. Nice check. Crossing elbow from John Wayne Parr, just missed the mark. Oh, step up elbow from the gunslinger. Interesting how both fighters not really interested in clinching or knees at all so far. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for Brad oh, oh. Both boys exchange beautiful lifts and they both got caught simultaneously. 
Now Wayne applies the clinch, drives two knees into the right rib cage of uh, Brad Riddell. One of the techniques we see John Wayne Parr use a lot is the teep, and we haven't seen a lot of it tonight. That front push kick just to keep his opponent at range. Step up elbow from uh, Wayne. Oh, now tries the spinning elbow. And Brett Riddell not looking phased at all by the gunslinger in front of him. Yeah, but he's got to do more. If he's going to do, if he's going to be effective, he's got to do more. Absolutely. He John Wayne's in control right now. Fourth yeah, this, this fourth round is all John Wayne par at the moment. Yeah. Brad Riddell continues to push forward, but just not busy enough. Yeah. He's going to have to take some risks. He's going to have to take... At the, at the way it's looking at the moment, he, as he lands the left. Oh, now that's oh, more Wayne like looks it. like he's been wobbled once again yeah, with that well, left was the overhand right that set up the left. So he's hurt Wayne Parr. But this he's, is what he's got to do. He's got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Wayne here. Yeah, Wayne's fighting back once again. Crossing elbow from Riddell, not quite close enough. Right on the bell again, Brad Riddell just turns it up in those last 15 seconds. We've got four rounds now, one to go. Riddell let it go with the overhand right. He tagged him and set up the left hand. And it looked like he hurt Wayne Parr again there. In the Here we go, the fifth and final round. Power play number 28. Proudly brought to you by Easy Contractors. Great respect from both boys in centering, guys. Three minutes to go. Yeah, the final round of Power Play 22. We're coming to you live from the Melbourne Pavilion. And you're watching this on Epicenter Live. Brad Riddell stepping it up. John Wayne Park, good counter fighting. Once again, Wayne, very busy with his hands. Finishes off with the low kick. Peter Hatton calling out for Brad Riddell to use the left hook. Nice high kick there by John Wayne. Nice front kick. They're going toe to toe here. Yeah, absolutely. And they're exchanging uh, left and right punches, both fighters. Although Wayne backs off and then moves forward again. Tries the uppercut. Ignatius missile at his Yeah, very slippery here. Yeah, surface of... there with a... Bit of house cleaning there in centre ring. Peter Hatton just asking Brad Riddell just to use his hands nice and straight. Resuming back in centre ring. Crowd now absolutely going crazy here at the Melbourne Pavilion. Oh, beautiful, great left hand. This is the experience of the gunslinger starting to come to the fore now, Stan. Yeah. Oh, clinical catch and sweep. That's Wayne just racking up some extra points. <laughs> A sneaky little <laughs> elbow there by John Wayne. So one thing with the guard of Brad Riddell, he keeps it nice and tight. That's what the crowd's come to see. Both oh, boys standing there trading. Big hands from John Wayne Parr. Once again, those punch combinations from the gunslinger. Puts Brad Riddell on the back foot. Let's go a step up knee. There's the teep you all asking for, Johnny. Mate, I'm surprised John Wayne Parr hasn't used them more as Brad Riddell continually walks forward. But I tell you what, at the moment, John Wayne Parr, he's retaining this fight, mate. He's doing a great job. He's just got to keep his hands up nice this and high. Uh, jumping knee from the gunslinger. He's really now putting on a show here in the final stages of this fifth round. Spinning back elbow from John Wayne Parr, caught on the gloves of Brad Riddell. I think Brad Riddell's just hoping to get that left hook in nice and close. That seems to be what he's waiting for. Uh, he's very experienced. John Wayne Pass fighting very smart here. He's doing enough to not only win the round, but be in control. There's that front Almost kick Almost telling this kid that you ain't got what you need to beat me just yet. Yeah, absolutely. And there you go. 
puts him once again on the canvas. Riddell quickly back on his feet. He reminds me a bit of Jarba Askarov as Brad Riddell in the physique and the way he just walks forward. And his nose looks a little bit like Jarba Askarov. Oh, look at those three elbows in succession from hey, the gunslinger. John. John's finishing. John Wayne Pass finishing stronger than Riddell. Ten seconds. Body rips. Step up elbow. Nice. Spinning back kick. And... Oh, well, there you go. What a great finish from the Wayne Parr. Absolutely sensational main event here. Yeah. Full credit to Brad Riddell for stepping up at the last minute. But the gunslinger, John Wayne Parr, shall take his own great respect yeah. from Brad Riddell. Absolutely great respect. And, and what a moment it is for Brad Riddell with 33 fights to get the call up the fight. The 10-time world champion, John Wayne Barr. A lot of respect out of the corner there from John Wayne Barr for Riddell. Red Riddell. He can walk, his, walk with his head up high, but yeah. nothing to be ashamed about. Be very proud of yourself, young man. Absolutely sensational main event. A name that will not be easily forgotten, Brad Riddell. He stepped up, he took the challenge. He took the... 10-time world champion the distance. He actually rocked Wayne Parr in the first round. I'll tell you what, guys, that has been an absolutely epic main event. Joe Nader and Powerplay Promotions. It's been sensational, it really has. Yeah, look, we've had a great night of fights. Fighters to centering. Ladies and gentlemen, just one other thing. Tonight's fight, unfortunately, was meant to be for a world title against Cosmo Alexander. Uh, due to a visa problem, we couldn't make that happen. So that Brad did jump in at the last minute replacement. I think tonight, Brad owned the respect and the opportunity after I speak to Mr. Michael Kenner to challenge Wayne for his world title and our next event next year. So if you ever want to see that, guys, get behind these two guys and let's make it happen for a world title because it is well deserved. Thank you very much.